How's it going, lads and lasses? We've got a beast today for this review. We've got the new NECA Stoneheart Predator. This is from Predator Concrete Jungle, my favorite video game, tied with Resident Evil 4, but this is definitely one of my favorite bosses. I jumped out of my chair when I saw that they announced this figure. Pretty similar to when they announced Scarface himself. So we've got him here. This thing is huge. Uh, let's get into articulation. So I want to apologize in advance if um, a little awkward here. My setup's a little awkward. Um, but I guess before we get into articulation, let's just take a moment to appreciate the detail on this figure. So of course, a lot of these parts are reused from the uh, the assassin predator, from the predator. Um, but a lot of it is new tooling. So I would say it's at least 50-50, maybe there's more, even more new parts than there are reused. But take a look at all the, the sculpting details. What I really like is, you know, where a lot of the components have been installed. You've got scarring in the skin. So that's a really nice detail. And just that skin texture, just NECA really knocked it out of the park with this. Okay, so let's get into the articulation. So the head is on a ball joint, and you get pretty good range of motion out of it. You can't look down too far. That's about as far as you can get, but you can look up pretty far there, and you get, oh, not there yet. You get a full 360 out of the neck. It's a little, I wouldn't call it stiff. Um... It has to be a little stronger than most ball joints because of the size of the figure, at least at this scale. So uh, I guess strong is the best way to describe it, where it doesn't it doesn't move on its own easily, but it's not stiff. So it's it's not a bad thing, is what I'm saying. Um, arm swivels out about that far. You can't really do a 360 with this because. You have the uh, the tubes back here, and you do get double jointed elbows there, um, but it's inhibited by these big uh, wrist gauntlets. But they're there. Hands swivel at the wrist there, and then turn a full 360. You get an ab crunch, which is. Um, a little inhibited and there's also a ball joint at the waist here but it's pretty stiff I will say that that one is stiff um, I actually had to heat it up and it's still a little stiff it's just the nature of it leg kicks out about that far and then sideways that far oh, yeah about that far and it twists right there That's also stiff though. It's a little hard to show the legs on camera. Double jointed knees. You get quite a bit out of those. There's a lot of feet articulation there. So you have the typical swivel and then turns side to side there and you've also got the ankle pivot all right let's get into accessories all right for accessories you have an alternate hand for so you have an alternate right an alternate left um, this is what he'll have on when you open the box um, I put on the fist the closed fist for uh, for now you have these gigantic, brutal wrist blades. Um, I don't think he actually had these in the video game. I can't remember right now, but I don't recall him having these huge wrist blades. So let's go ahead and pop those on so you can see how they fit. So even if they might not be game accurate, they still look pretty cool. So you get a set for each arm. So that's awesome. The mandible system is different 
for this one. So there, these are the alternate open mandibles. And I'm going to take a second to install them real quick to show you what the deal is. So as you can see there, the default ones pop off so you can pop these in. And there you go. Oh, but Shane, you have the open mandibles, but the jaw's still closed. Doesn't that look kind of weird? Well, NECA's got you covered. It's articulated. That's awesome. Like, I genuinely wasn't expecting that. That is so cool. Okay, last thing. So the head, as I, you saw earlier, the forehead pops off because there are LEDs. Look at how bright those things are, jeez. They're almost too bright. So you got LEDs there in the head, and then when you go in the back here, this right one pops off. You got LEDs there, as well as the one right there. Is the right side, on the left side of his chest, I should say. Yeah, those are bright. Oh, that's pretty cool. Alright, so we've checked out all the crazy features that this figure has to offer. What do I think of it? This thing is awesome. It is so badass. I'm beyond happy with this. Neck out did themselves. The detail is incredible. The LEDs are so damn bright. You know, I'm not worried about them dimming at all. He just looks brutal and badass. I never thought I'd ever get a figure of this guy. It's it's crazy to think about that, and I guess I can say that for pretty much the whole Predator line before NECA got the license. I never thought we were ever going to get real Predator action figures. You know, before that, McFarlane had a go that was, eh. Uh, there were the Kenner figures, which, you know, for what they were, they were cool, but this is an action figure. And... What NECA has done with the license is just, you know, to take it from AVP Requiem to what we have now, it's insane. It is a huge achievement. And this guy is huge. You know, like I said, he's using a lot of the same parts as the Assassin Predator. And there is a bit of controversy with that. You know, people are saying that that's too big. Because Stoneheart is bigger than Scarface, but some people are saying he's not that big. When you actually look in-game, the thing is it's a bit deceptive because when you're fighting him and he chases after you, he's hunched over. So he looks shorter, and then there's also the camera perspective. Uh, it makes him look even shorter. But when you actually have him defeated and you're going to take his trophy and he's kneeled down, he's about as tall as Scarface is standing up. So um, this might be a bit bigger, at least... Uh, height wise but not by much it is a lot closer than you would think and um, you know it's it, you, you really have to look to see what his height is because there's they're never standing right next to each other in a you know a neutral pose so it's it's kind it's kind of difficult to get what the scale is so I would be remiss if I didn't put Scarface in there next to him there he is, there's my favorite right there. Still can't believe I got a figure of Scarface. And they look good next to each other. That's another thing to consider is that Scarface is taller than the average Yauta. He might even be taller than the AVP Predators, which, you know, up to that point were the tallest. So, you know, the, the height difference isn't as much as if you were comparing him to, say, Jungle Hunter. So I, th I think they look great next to each other. And that is, that is pretty close from what I can see. Um, I think where there are some discrepancies though, because it's not perfect, obviously. The head is a little too big. What I will say is his head isn't that big. You know, it's bigger than Scarface's, but it's not as big as displayed in this action figure, which that is something they could have remedied because this is an all new head. They didn't use the assassin head at all. It's new tooling. They could have made it a little smaller. It doesn't bother me personally, but I can see why it would bother some people. 
one thing that I would have liked to see is specifically with with the uh, with the upper arms, you know, the shoulders, the biceps, the triceps, the, that area. He has really thick arms, and that's where a lot of his size difference comes into play. Is his arms are huge, so I, I would have liked to see those biceps and, and the shoulders being bigger than they are. My only other complaint, and it's not a complaint just with this figure, it's a complaint with every figure that does this, is ratcheted joints. I can't stand them. I get them. It makes it a lot harder for a figure to fall over. Especially a bigger figure like this, it's almost necessary to have the ratcheted joints. But they've never been done in a way that I'm happy with. They always make parts out of sync. So like, you'll see how I have his legs right now. That's because of the ratcheted joints. I couldn't quite get them synced up properly. If I worked at it, I probably could, but I'm making a video right now. I don't really want to spend half an hour trying to pose his legs just for this video. Um, it's especially difficult with the feet because I have been able to get the legs to sync up, but the feet are just totally out of sync with those ratcheted joints. Um, I wish that they were a bit smoother. You know, just that the ratchets were a little closer together, a little smaller. Because, like I said, I understand why they're there. I understand what their purpose is. Um, it just, it does make it harder to pose. The arms don't really, well, I guess where the shoulders are, there's some ratcheted joints there. But, like, the elbows and, and the wrists don't really have ratcheted joints in there. So there aren't any issues there. It's, it's mostly with the legs. Everywhere else is fine. Um, other than that, this is an incredible figure, and I am so happy with it. So if you can get your hands on this. The one thing is, because it's so much bigger, it is more expensive than the average NECA Predator. This is going to run you between 60 and $80. I feel like it's worth it, but I can understand why you somebody else might be hesitant to drop that much on what is essentially just a 7 inch scale figure, even though it's well beyond 7 inches, it's just to scale with the 7 inch figures. So you can get this, you know, Big Bad Toy Store has them in stock right now, at least as of making this video. I'm not sure if Amazon has them yet, but I know that they will at some point. Probably be able to get it on Entertainment Earth. You know, the, the, the usual places. I wish you'd be able to pick them up on, like, NECA's eBay store. They used to do that with all their new releases. The, the eBay store would get it first. You know, the downside was you'd have to pay for shipping, so it'd be a little more expensive there, but you would get it before anyone else. But they don't seem to do that anymore. When they, when they do have stuff on their eBay store, it's, like, months after it's been released. So it's it's been a bit harder to get NECA's stuff, at least get NECA stuff early. But I'll have links in the description where you can pick them up. That about does it for this video, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a good one, and I'll see you guys next time.